Hello guys, my name is Victoria Palov, I am the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today I will show to you how you can create very beautiful vector pumpkin art in Adobe Photoshop CC. We will be using the curvature pen tool. I promise guys, it will be not too complicated. It will be super, super easy. We will duplicate a lot of layers, so don't worry. It will be easy and fast. Um, I have opened my Adobe Photoshop CC and also I have created my document. You can create your document in any size you want to. You can use any color for your background. It's your creation, it's your art, it's your imagination. So everything is up to you. Now I have only one um, background layer. This layer locked. And time to create a new layer. To create a new layer, simply click Add New Layer and voila. I will switch to my curvature pen tool. In the options bar, I will specify shape, not path, guys, shape, and I will specify color for my fill and stroke. Once again, I'm repeating myself. You can use any color or only one color. So everything is up to you. So my curvature uh, pen tool is selected, activated. I will click at any place in my document to create my first curvature uh, point, just like that. Now I will click to create the second curvature a point, third, and voila. Guys, please don't scream. I know it's uh, far away of uh, shape of any pumpkin. We will fix it. I'm not switching to any other tool. I still have highlighted my curvature pen tool and I will adjust my form. First of all, I will click on my top um, curvature point and I will move it in the middle, just like that. I will select, uh, highlight my uh, second uh, curvature anchor and I will move it. Same with this one. Now, guys, I would like to adjust bottom of my pumpkin. I want my pumpkin um, will be stable uh, on uh, any surface. So what I need to do, I need to add extra curvature, uh, curvature anchors. So to add extra um, new curvature um, point, simply click at any place in your shape, just like that. And voila. And I will move it slightly to the left. I will create another one and I will move it as well. And voila. My uh, f first part of my pumpkin is ready. Let me adjust it slightly. Just like that. <laughs> Perfect. Now, guys, I will switch to move tool. I will rename my um, layer to number one and I will duplicate this layer. I will rename it to number two and I will restack this layer under my first layer. Just like that. Guys, remember, I still have highlighted my move tool. In the options bar, you can see that um, I checked show transform control box. And now I can um, resize uh, my shape without jumping to free transform tool. What I will do, I will move. See, I made mistake. I... Uh, highlighted my first layer. So now I will highlight my second layer and I will move this layer just like this. Perfect. I will click OK to accept all changes. Now I would like to modify this shape. I will switch to my curvature pen tool and I will click at uh, any place in my shape just like that. And voila, I can modify my shape. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love, love, love it. So guys, again, you can create your um, pumpkin in any shape you want to. It's up to you. It's your pumpkin. And But remember, guys, pumpkin cannot be so perfect. Pumpkin has different uh, bumps. Just like that. This is my beautiful pumpkin. I Now, guys, what I will do, I will switch back to uh, move tool and I will duplicate my second layer. I will rename my second uh, new layer to layer number three. And because I still have highlighted my move tool, I can flip it just like this. 
and I can move it. Worth it. How amazing is it? I can reshape it, resize it, just like that, and I will click OK to accept all changes. Now, guys, I can add extra details to my pumpkin. So what I will do, I will highlight my layer number two. I will duplicate this layer. I will rename this layer to layer number four. And I will move this layer behind all my layers. I still have highlighted my move tool. So I will resize my last layer just like that. I will click OK to accept all changes. And remember, guys, I told you we will duplicate a lot of layers. So <laughs> we are duplicating a lot of layers. Now I have highlighted my last layer back layer layer number four I will duplicate this layer one more time and I will rename my new layer to number five just like that I still have highlighted my uh, move tool and I will flip my new layer and I will move it close to all other layers just like this I will click OK to accept all changes now guys I will highlight my background layer I will create a new layer I will activate my curvature pen tool. In the options bar, I will change fill color to a green. Lighter green probably, let's see. And I will change stroke color to a darker shade of green, just like this. And voila. We will create a beautiful steam for our pumpkin. just like that and I will move my point and again guys it's your creation you can create um, your steam uh, you can create any detail detail uh, in your pumpkin in your way use your imagination so this is my steam I'm happy with it but probably Maybe I will adjust this uh, um, curative point. I will click and hold option key and I will click on a left um, curative anchor point just like that and voila. Now I'm very much happy with my pumpkin. Time to apply uh, more details. I will rename my steam uh, layer to layer number six. And I will highlight my top layer, layer number one. I will create a new empty layer and I will change color for my fill. Maybe I will use a lighter color and I will um, specify that I don't need stroke with this shape. And I will st start applying few highlights to my pumpkin. First point, second point, just like this guys. I will click and hold my option key and I will click on last um, point just like this and I will adjust if I will need it. Guys remember you can add as many um, curvature uh, points as you like and you can adjust it. So I made mistake I will delete this point. I don't need this and I will move this one. This highlight will create a very nice uh, shape just like that. Maybe I will delete this uh, point. I don't need this anymore. Yes, much, much better. Perfect. I like it. In the options, in um, layers panel, I'm sorry, I will bring down opacity of my highlight, probably about um, 41. And now I will create a new empty layer and using same setting for my curvature pen tool, I will create few extra highlights. Just like this.
and I will bring down opacity for this layer as well. Just like that, new layer, new highlight. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I will bring down opacity of this layer as well. Now, guys, I will create new empty layer. I'm st I, st I still have highlighted my curative pencil, but in the options bar, I will change fill to darker color, just like that. I don't need stroke, and I will apply a few uh, darker shades to my pumpkin, just like these guys. And I will bring down opacity of this layer. I will create new layer, one more, just like that. And I will bring down opacity of this layer as well. I will switch back to my move tool. I will select highlight my background layer for better preview and voila, guys, our pumpkin is ready. As I promised, nothing is too complicated, it's easy, it's fast. Uh, but it's beautiful it's pumpkin guys you can apply as many details to your pumpkin as you like everything is up to you this is the quickest way to create a vector pumpkin in adobe photoshop cc using the amazing curvature pen tool so guys thank you very uh, very much for your time uh highly appreciated uh if you like my tutorial please subscribe to my channel share my art tutorial and i will see you next time bye guys thank you so much